Saturnalia was almost legendary. The upmarket casino was situated on the King's Way and was frequented by the rich members of Ankh's high society and hopeful social climbers from Morpork. It was a temple to pride, greed, and avarice. And like any temple, anyone with money was welcome. The last person I wanted to see was Death himself, waiting to take me to whatever hell awaits a failure like me. But after Death, Ilsa was a close second. My eyes were drawn to her the moment I entered the room and I decided then and there that I wasn't going to talk to her. The next thing I remember, I was talking to her. Hello, Luton. Still mad at me? As soon as I learn how to offer forgiveness, you'll be the first one to receive it. This is my companion, two conquers. Pleased to be meeting you. You are Remola Salachi. Not the last time I checked. This is Luton. He's an old friend of mine. Why did he think I was Remora Salachi? We're supposed to be meeting him here. What do you want with an assassin like Remora? What are you talking about? I looked around to see Remora drawing a weapon. Assassins are damn good at what they do, but they're not allowed to kill innocent bystanders. I didn't know if it was bravery or stupidity, but I decided to stand between Remora and his target. Interrupting an assassin while he was working was a risky business. So I decided to ambush Remora with the old only answer questions with questions routine. Why did you try to kill that woman? Why does any assassin try to kill someone? Who put a contract out on Ilsa? Don't you know better than to interfere in official guild business? Why would anyone want to kill Ilsa? Do you expect me to discuss a confidential case with you? What do you want from me, Remora? A swift death and a cheap funeral. Ha! You lose! That wasn't a question, that was a statement. You're getting sloppy. You're lucky we're only allowed to kill for money, because I'd take you out for free, Luton. I'd managed to embarrass Remora in front of a crowd of social notables, and that was bad news. It was bad enough that I had the watch breathing down my neck without the Assassin's Guild baying for my blood. Fortunately, there was nothing they could do to me unless someone paid for a contract on me. Actually, that wasn't strictly true. They could tie me up and torture me for days if they wanted to, just as long as I didn't die. It wasn't a comforting thought. Who was the woman? Carlotta. What are you doing here? I like to take risks. Isn't that what life is for? I've taken enough risks to last a lifetime. You didn't answer my question, you know. Who was the woman? Ilsa, why do you want to know? Jealous? Afraid you might have a rival? All women are rivals, Luton. She's not important. I see. If you decide to be honest with me, I'll be around. It was the most unsettled I'd seen Carlotta get. I guess there was a heart in that cold chest after all. The woman's name is Ilsa. She and I used to be close. It's over. Why are you telling me this? I thought you might want to know. How is the case going? Badly. Mundy's dead. Dead? Yeah, dead. Murdered. And not a pretty sight. I'm sorry. Don't be. I'll survive. You could have chosen a nicer way to tell me. I thought you might appreciate me getting straight to the point. Do you want me to stay on the case? Is there still a case? I thought perhaps you might like to know who killed Mundy and why. Yes, I owe him that. You can continue with the case, Luton. Do you want to know what happened with Mundy? That's what I'm paying you for, isn't it? Is it? I'm starting to wonder. Don't you like me, Luton? What's not to like? You're a woman like any other. Do you look down on all women, or just the ones you know? I have plenty of distaste to go around. You don't happen to know who Sapphire was meeting with when she missed her shift at the Octorin Parrot? Let's try not to get too sidetracked, Luton.
Have you heard of the counterweight killings? No. Mundy's murder looks like a counterweight killing. Oh, I'm thrilled. Have you heard of a troll by the name of Jasper Horst? Yes, I've heard of him. What do you know? I know that I've heard of him, but that's all. That wasn't very helpful. You're tough, Luton. You'll survive. The person who killed Mundy hung him upside down and poked his eyes out. Can you think of any reason they might have done that? What? No. Why should I? Well, you knew Mundy. I didn't. I thought you might have an insight on it that I didn't. Did you kill Mundy? What? What do you think I am, Luton? It's got nothing to do with what I think of you, Carlotta. But the Watch are investigating. And if they find out about your connection with Mundy, you're bound to be a suspect. So why are you asking me if I did it? Let's just call it professional curiosity. If I had done it, would you turn me in? That depends. On what? On why you did it. You don't strike me as a moralist, Luton. I'm a simple man, Carlotta. I have simple ideas of what's right and what's wrong. The trouble is, things are seldom that simple. It's always somewhere in the middle ground. I try not to jump to conclusions. In my line of work, that can get you killed. That must be a tremendous incentive to think everything through. I do my best. You still haven't answered my question. I didn't kill him, Luton, if that's what you really want to know. Do you have an alibi? I told her when the murder took place and asked her if she had an alibi. I wasn't surprised when she did. Frankly, I reckon I could have said any day and any time and she'd have had an alibi. She was that kind of woman. There are witnesses who can corroborate where I was. And where were you? I was in the Temple of Small Gods. Spend a lot of time on your knees, do you, sister? We all need a little absolution. For your sins? Everything I do is a sin in someone's eyes. Does Azeel mean anything to you? Azeel? Wasn't he a madman from the Great Neff? Some kind of religious maniac? Go on. That's it. That's all I can remember. Does 3712V mean anything to you? Let's try not to get too sidetracked, Luton. Does this coin mean anything to you? Nothing springs to mind. It was Mondays. It still doesn't mean anything to me. What's the game? Truncheon. Interested stranger? The name's Luton. What are the stakes? Minimum stake is a dollar a hand. House limit is 10,000 per hand. I'm in. Here's my dollar. Hey. Big spender. World told me how to play the game. Something to do with the Major Arcana and the Private Arcana. The Major Arcana had strange names like the Fool, the Pyrophant, and the unbelievable expense of a slice of cheese. Essentially, it seems I just had to stay under 21 and get as high as I could. It all seems pretty whimsical to me. It's a whimsical world. What happens in a tie? I win. That doesn't seem fair. I'll note that down in the complaints book, shall I? Player thinks the odds might be stacked in favour of the house. I didn't really know what I was doing, but I expected to lose my dollar anyway, so I didn't worry about it. But someone else at the table seemed pretty worked up about what I was doing. That isn't the way to play it. Why not? Because it isn't the way to win. Is there a way to win? Well, there's a way to lose more slowly. 
What's it to you? I've seen enough losing. I don't want to see any more. I only bet a dollar. No, no, it's the principle of the thing. What do you think? I'm just a croupier. I'm not paid to think. I lost my dollar. But I reckon I got value for money. And hey, the cards were pretty. Do you own this place? Saturnalia? Nah, you gotta be kidding. Who owns it? I don't really know. Probably a whole group of people. For all I know, no one owns it, and it just keeps ticking over all on its own. Is that likely? Frankly, I don't really care. As long as I get paid, it's all the same to me. Don't you have an inquisitive mind? No. I find people with inquisitive minds don't live too long. I was told that I'd find a certain troll's body in the Salachi Mausoleum. Only when I got there, it wasn't the right body. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? You went rooting around in the Salachi family mausoleum. Hey, leave me out of this, Luton. Do you know a troll named Sapphire? Oh, I'm just a simple croupier. Eh? I wouldn't know anything important. And if I did, I certainly wouldn't give it away for nothing. I guess you don't like to give away anything for free. When you've worked in a casino as long as I have, you learn that you don't get anything for nothing. I reckon a lot of meetings must go on here. I reckon so. Anything interesting you can tell me about? Sorry. Any way I can make you less sorry? Listen, Lowton. Saturnalia is home to a hundred meetings a night. Some secret, some not so secret. But the one thing that folks can be sure about is that if they want to meet in secret, they meet in secret. Heard of a big shot troll by the name of Jasper Horst? I've heard of him, but I don't know him. He doesn't come round here in person. Do you know a troll by the name of Malachite? I don't think so. You seem to get worked up over my gambling. I'm not as easy going as I used to be. You're a wizard? Wow, you're sharp. What tipped you off? The gown? The arcane symbols? Look, I just thought you might want to talk. You tried to help me at the table, and I thought I'd make amends for being so rude to you. Sorry I tried. No, wait. I'm, um, I'm, I'm like, sorry, friend. It's just, I'm on the edge. The name's Luton. I'm sorry. We haven't been properly introduced. My name is Warb. B-L-L. -L. B -L -L. Um, well... Bachelor of Eldritch Lace Making. Eldritch Lace Making? Don't ask. You are regular in here then? I guess so. I'm not very lucky. I thought all wizards were lucky. Uh, whatever gave you that impression. Do you know how many bizarre and unpleasant ways there are for a wizard to die inside the walls of Unseen University alone? One false invocation as you're summoning a demon and Bang! Your lunch for some pit fiend with more tentacles than legs and fewer arms than heads. Or spend too long in the wrong area of the library and poof, you disappear. All that you leave behind is a statistic. Don't you like being a wizard? It always seemed like a glamorous profession to me. There's nothing glamorous about wizardry. Well, except for glamours. Glamours? It's an elvish thing. Well, thank you very much. If you're so unlucky, why do you come here? Uh, I haven't lived a lucky life, but, well, I don't know. I guess I feel that in here, I at least have a chance. But the odds are always stacked against you. The house always has the advantage. Let me tell you something, Luton. The house always has the advantage. Here, out there, it doesn't make any difference. At least in here, you know who the house is. That's a pretty stark outlook. 
Ever made a decision that affected your whole life? Ever done something that throws everything into question? No, I don't feel in that much control of my life. None of us are. So you work up at Unseen University? I was trained there. Once I got my degree, I moved on. But you're still a wizard. I thought all you guys were under the jurisdiction of the university. Yeah, I work for Unseen Securities now. Unseen Securities? Yeah, we make magical security systems. Very exclusive. Are they expensive? Oh yeah, hardly anyone can afford our services. I had a feeling that Mundy's coin was important. Do you know a troll called Sapphire? I've seen her around, but I don't really know her. Seen her here? Oh yeah, yeah. She's sometimes here. She never looks very happy though. Do a lot of meetings go on here? Well, this is a popular, if exclusive, meeting place, sure, yeah. Is it discreet? Oh yeah, very, very. Do you know a troll called S I've seen her seen Oh yeah, she never Does the word Azeal mean anything to you? I'm afraid I can't really... Can you think of any reason? I'm afraid I can't... Does... I'm afraid I can't... The River Ankh. Probably the only river in the universe on which you could chalk the outline of a corpse. The Temple of Small Gods. The Temple of Small Gods was Ankh Morpork's unique concession to all the thousands, perhaps millions, of small gods that the Discworld was home to. Most of the gods were so small they never got worshipped. The spirits of lonely trees, or the places where two ant trails crossed, and they stayed that way because they lacked belief. Give a god belief, one follower or ten or ten thousand, and it grows up from the void into whatever fanciful deity its followers devise. Everyone knows that people need gods to blame for everything that is wrong, or praise for everything that is right. But they forget that every god needs people, too. Inside the temple, a bazaar of fanatics, lunatics, and cultists of all descriptions were trying to sell their faith to prospective followers. Two salvations for the price of one. Extra indulgences if you get a friend to join. That sort of thing. The lost and the lonely came here seeking direction. I found it hard to picture Carlotta amongst their number. Malaclips drew attention to himself by virtue of the lack of crowds around him. Even the followers of Flatulus had a small crowd, but for some reason no one wanted to talk to him. It looked as if he had a metal fish hung around his neck. Who do you worship then? Why do you want to know? Who sent you? What do you want? 
My name's Luton. I'm a private investigator. You've been sent by the elucidated brethren of the Ebon Knight to silence me, haven't you? Their plots are so transparent. It won't work. I have protection. There isn't an elucidated brethren of the Ebon Knight anymore. They were forcibly disbanded. Disbanded? By a dragon, as it happens. <laughs> That's what they want you to think. That was all faked, so that they could eliminate all their traitors and go underground. Even as we speak, they are plotting to control the patrician by putting mind-altering drugs in the palace's water supply. Then it's true. I'd heard that you were the only other person who really knew what was going on. What do you want? I just want to learn from you. Only you can teach me what is really going on in Ankh-Morpork. You don't fool me. I don't? You just want to steal all my knowledge and then use it to further your plans of glory. Ah, but I know that you know that, and you know that I know that. Which means we're at a stalemate. And since you know more than me, you have the advantage in a stalemate, which means that ultimately you'll beat me. Yes! Yes! I see. You plan to try and use me, don't you? Well, many have tried to use Malaclips, and I have beaten them all! <laughs> no, I can't hide anything from you, can I? Very well. I will let you, for as long as it serves my purposes to do so. What did you wish to know? Which deity do you serve? Ah, 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 that's a big question. Which deity do you serve? I don't serve any deity. Then I don't serve any deity either. I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. Ooh, right. You first. I serve... Uh, I serve... You didn't finish. I am forbidden by an oath of loyalty never to speak aloud the name of the person of the Ah, the ancient mystic order of... Yes, I know all about you. I know every conspiracy, turnwise of the Wormberg, and all but one conspiracy, Hubwoods of the Great Neff. Your turn. I am the proud servitor of Irata, the goddess of misunderstandings, the mistress of mayhem, the countess of confusion, and the duchess of discord. You know, sometimes I think I'm her servitor, too. You get a free gold-plated apple if you join this week. Tell me about the goddess Irata. There is no goddess greater than Irata. Have you not looked at the world and seen all the confusion and misunderstanding? Well, who do you think put it there, hmm? It didn't happen by chance. Nothing ever happens by chance. So, every misunderstanding that has ever happened, Errata was behind them all. Yes! She has started wars, and she has ended wars. Millions have died for the glory of Errata. And presumably most of them believe they were dying for something else. Oh, yes. The goddess is shrewd in her ways. She must be very powerful. There is no goddess more powerful than Errata. Then why doesn't she just make everyone into her follower? Let me tell you something, Luton. Everyone is a follower of Errata. They just don't know it. How come you know that you're a follower of Errata? I only think I'm a follower of Errata. I might be a follower of someone else, and I wouldn't even know it. Errata thinks of everything, doesn't she? You said you knew all but one conspiracy, Hubwoods of the Great Neff. What's the one conspiracy you don't know? If I knew that, I would know all the conspiracies, wouldn't I? 
You don't know anything about that one conspiracy? Nothing. Then how do you know that there is another conspiracy? Because... When I put all the other conspiracies together, I can see the pieces missing. In other words, you can tell there's a conspiracy because you can't see it. Everything casts a shadow, Newton. At least of some kind. What if the missing pieces are a ruse by one of the conspiracies you do know about to try and distract you from paying attention to what they're doing? No, that's too far-fetched. So, is there a formal church of Irata? I am the formal church of Irata. I hold her sacred emblem. And what would that be? The scarlet totem that I wear around my neck. And how do you go about joining the church? I told you! Everyone is part of the church of Irata. They just don't know it. Tempting as it was, I decided not to start attacking people with the crowbar. Do you know what this is? It's, it's a Hersheban groat. What's a Hersheban groat worth? Nothing. Unless you want to hire a member of the Hashishim, the first assassins. The Hashishim? The original assassins. A band of mad killers who are feared throughout Hubwood Clash. They derive their name from the huge quantities of hashish they consumed. They are unique among killers in being both deadly and at the same time inclined to giggle and wear beads. The ones with the flared trousers are the most deadly of all. And you'd pay one with a Hersheban groat? No, but if you give it to one, he'll stare at it for hours and leave you alone. I wasn't about to flash the stolen tooth around. Someone might tell Lord Salachi. The next thing I knew, I'd have a... Does the word Azil mean anything to you? Azil? Yes! He was an Ascarian the Great Neff a couple of centuries ago involved in the Great Light Dam Conspiracy, which culminated in the theft of 12 barrels of light from the sacred distilleries of E, the Lost City. Why was Mundy hung upside down when he was murdered? And why were his eyes poked out? His body was offered up as a sacrifice to the creatures of the dungeon dimensions, the fetid obscenities from beyond time and space. Except Irata caused them to get their rituals confused, otherwise the city would be crawling with help spawn right now. What does 3712V mean to you? It's the combination to the phantasmal vault of Capsicum. Even the lowliest neophyte of Errata knows that. Do you know a woman by the name of Carlotta von Uberwald? Have you seen her around the temple? Oh, yes. I know her. She's part of one of the darkest conspiracies. And they're plotting to take over the world by stealing the lost treasures of Irata and turning them towards a dark purpose. Don't trust her, Luton. Trust no one. You know about Mundy's murder? Of course. Was she here when he was killed? Yes. Yes, she was. Do you know Al Kali? The dwarf? Yes, he's an associate of Horst's. A minor player in the greater scheme of things, but dangerous nonetheless. Do you know Malachite? They're planning to have him killed. They? Who are they? Nobody knows who they are. Only they know who they are. Maybe. I think they're the same ones who are putting poison in the beer. Do you know a woman named Ilsa and a man named... Two conquers. No. No? I thought you knew everything. Not everyone is important in the grand scheme. 